Paul Morning, you've been out the side for a while, good to be back playing? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, definitely nice to be back playing. There's uh, nothing worse as a footballer when, when you're out the side because you want to be playing every week, that's what you train for, so yeah, it's mm. nice. Injuries cleared up? Yeah, yeah, I feel uh, I feel good, feel fit now, so yeah. Kevin Sandler's had possession of the shirt for a while, you've wrestled it back off him. Pleasing? Uh, well, obviously... <laughs> We got a, a, a decent squad here, so you're always fighting for your place. So when you get the shirt, it's uh, it's important you play well so, to keep the shirt. We spoke in the summer, and you were relishing the prospect of you know having to battle to keep the shirt and, and win the shirt. Are you still relishing that battle? Yeah, yeah, Kev he trains well all the time, and he's always pushing me to uh, to perform in training and, and in matches. So it's it, it's a help as a player to have, to have that competition and it's definitely healthy what have you made of the last couple of games that you've been involved in uh i think i think i've done uh, reasonably well there's uh you know i watched the dvd of the last game and there's a couple of things i, I could have probably done better but i think i've i think i've done okay yeah and in terms of those results being on the wrong end of some good performances yeah we've been uh, pretty unlucky uh Lately, we've had sort of games where, you know, the Darlington game where we sort of conceded in the last minute that, you know, where I thought we uh, deserved to win and in the last game, you know, uh, sort of circumstances sort of went against us there as well. So I think we've been a bit unlucky, really. What have you made of the whirlwind of changes in the defensive line? If we think about the squad that was put together at the beginning of the season and the back four that you lined up with last week, quite a difference. Yeah, the, yeah, there has been a, a bit of a difference. I mean, we, we've definitely got we got a lot more depth now in the defence, and I mean, the gaffer, he, whatever back four he puts out, should be uh, well, will be a strong one, and, and should be keeping clean sheets. So, uh, you know, I think you know it was disappointing to concede four, but like I say, uh, circumstances sort of went against us a bit uh, on Saturday. In your mind, what's been wrong in the last three games at home? Ten goals conceded in those three games. Uh, well, I mean, four of them come on Saturday, uh, and three of them when we're down to ten men. So I don't think, I don't think that helped. But um, you know, we're working hard now, and, and hopefully we will get be keeping a clean sheet on Saturday. Put the league aside for this weekend. Talking in the FA Cup. Looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. So, it's always nice uh, to play play in the FA Cup. You get you know everyone gets a big buzz around the place. You know you pitch yourself against a team in the league above and that. So there's a bit of pressure off, but you want to go and show that you, you know what you can do. Really, you want to go show you can you know perform at a higher level yourself. So it's nice to get the opportunity. Pressure off this weekend, you say? Uh, yeah, well, there's no, there's no, you know, the pressure of the league, where, you know, we, where you sort of jostling for position. I mean, the FA Cup, you're playing against a team, team in the league, who are in the league above you, you know, the expectation's not as high for you, you know, in the league we're expected to go out and win every game, you know, now we're playing a team in the league above, the pressure's maybe a little bit off. Is the pressure on them then? Is there an expectation Torquay arrive at Field Mill on Saturday and they should be the ones leaving with a victory? I think I think they'll have the expectation. Their fans will expect them to come and win because they're obviously in the league above. They're doing they're doing well, um, you know, and you know just the fact that we're in the league below. Maybe people will think you know, talk. They they probably fancy Torquay over us, but. I, 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 I fancy us to win personally. As, a, as I was going to say, as a player, do you relish the, dag, the tag of being the underdog then? Well, yeah, uh, you know, like I say, we, we, a little bit less pressure, but, you know, it's the FA Cup, anything can happen, so it's always, it's always nice to play in this competition, knowing what's up for grabs. In your mind, any good memories of the FA Cup in your career so far? Yeah, I've I've had a you know a few good little runs when I was at Forest Green, uh, notably when we got a uh, derby and uh, being two 0 up and three two up against them, and uh, that was yeah very memorable for me. Can a good cup run be the catalyst to changing the side to league form in your mind? Yeah, definitely. I think if you're you know win, winning's a habit and that, so if you can if you can you know. If we go and beat sort of Torquay and that, then it goes shows us you know what we can really do, and like we know we're we're capable of going out and beating 
any side on our day. So yeah, it's definitely uh, a good cut run can sort of kick start you really. I was going to say, out of the side for a while, do you feel that when you came back into the side you were starting to get back to your best? Yeah, well we played uh, Russian that game it was uh, on the TV and I felt that was the sharpest I've been. I've been working quite hard in the gym and stuff and obviously being suspended you want to try and take some of it. Obviously I've had a couple of weeks off so uh, hopefully I can kick on. How do you think you've settled into Mansfield Town since you've been here so far? Yeah, it's been, right. been fine, I've been enjoying it. Uh, just like I say, I've I think I've only started maybe six games, so I'd like to get a, get a run of games, you know, and obviously hopefully the team can get back up in the playoff places. I was going to say, you must be frustrated a player with, you know, playing a career like yourself to, to have been limited to only six starts. Yeah, but I mean, it's a team game and obviously if the manager feels somebody else can do a job better than you, then there's reason behind that. But like I say, I'm feeling, feeling fit now and my, feet, my foot's feeling good, so hopefully get in the side now. Uh, how do you feel you adjust to coming off the bench in games? I mean, a couple of games this season you, you've come off the bench and you've, you've made an impact. Yeah, I mean, different people are different in situations, but obviously coming off the bench is just like starting, you've got to go in and give it your, your best, you know, so... But uh, obviously I'd like to be starting games, that's where I feel I can benefit. And a lot's changed at Mansfield Town since you arrived in the summer. Yeah, yeah, there's been, uh, there's been goings coming out and coming in. And, uh, I think nothing changes with we need to get results and the last few weeks have been a bit disappointing in terms of the results and games so uh, we've got a good chance to put that right at the weekend. Being pleased with the ambition the club has shown recently? Yeah, yeah, obviously when new owners come into any club there's obviously a bit more pressure on people but sometimes that can be a good thing and uh, we've not been that far away in matches, just maybe the odd goal been letting us down in front of goal, you need a bit of luck sometimes as well. And. Uh, like I say, the weekend's going to be a perfect opportunity for us. In recent weeks, the manager has said he's expecting more from his strikers. He wants you to be clinical in front of goal. Do you think that's a fair comment from the gaffer? Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, obviously the striker's job to score goals, and uh, likewise at the back, if defenders are making obviously mistakes, they get they obviously get a bit uh, jip off the manager as well. So I've got to take on the chin. You've shown so far though as a team you can score goals, I mean 5 nil wins, 4 nil wins, it's within you. Yeah, I mean certainly I think a week or two in football is such a, a short time though, do you know what I mean? Because you can go for winning 5 and 4 nil, and then a few indifferent results and uh, obviously it's not quite as happy a place. But I mean if we get a win at the weekend that would be a good start for us. In fairness though, one win in seven, not good enough? Yeah, obviously I think whether you look at it, the... the the players we've got throughout the squad, do you know what I mean? We should be taking uh, more mm. wins and uh, like I say, I think a few of the games have not been playing that bad but obviously it's, uh, it's the results in this race, so... Let's come on to Torquay, League Two side. A yardstick for your team? Yeah, I think they're a team who's came for maybe two or three years ago. I think they were probably in the conference like other teams in that League Two and even on the League One now as well with Dagenham Red Bridge and stuff. So we can go there and maybe it takes a bit of pressure off the league, the league games and we can go there probably as underdogs and who knows, uh, maybe cause an upset. You've spent, shall I say, the fair majority of your time in the Football League in this country. What's the difference between the Football League and the Conference and how far do you think before the weekend Mantua Town are away from a side such as Torquay United? Uh, I don't think there's a massive difference. I mean. Maybe when you get up to the top end of League One, a bit of a difference. You've got big clubs up there, you know, Southampton and teams like that, ex Premiership clubs. But I think in League Two, it's uh, I think the difference is very minute. I think a lot of teams in this division, certainly your Fleetwoods and Crawleys and stuff, would probably do well in League League uh, Two. Would it be fair to say you're the underdogs this weekend, and is that a tag that sits well with a player such as yourself? Yeah, obviously I don't think players look at it that much when you go into a game worrying about who's underdog or whatever. At the end of the day it's still 11 v 11, do you know what I mean? And uh, if we can go into that game and uh, get a result then that'll do the confidence of the world good. Thank you.